Healthy Living, brought to you by Denver Health. We are the region's level one trauma center. Walking conditions your heart and lungs and improves your body's ability to use oxygen more efficiently. A recent study revealed that women who walked at a brisk rate of just three to four miles per hour, at least three hours per week, cut their risk of heart attack and stroke by more than half. It's also preventive. Walking can help beat other health problems as well. It can reduce the risk of osteoporosis and some forms of cancer, and it also reduces body fat and builds muscle. Walking can even help people with diabetes reduce or eliminate their need for medication. Walking is also a joint saver and can burn nearly as many calories per mile as jogging, but at a lower impact, so it's easier on your joints and muscles. It's also easier on your mind as well. It lessens stress and lightens depression. Beginning walkers usually report that they feel better and sleep better and that their mental outlook has improved. Best of all, walking has the lowest dropout rate of any form of exercise. You're more likely to stick with it and, in addition to the benefits I've just outlined, you will experience better digestion, improved regularity, and lower blood pressure. There's nothing to getting started. Just put on a sturdy, comfortable pair of shoes and go. Walk to the store for the Sunday paper, park farther away from work, Use the stairs instead of elevators or escalators, and make walking your dog or someone else's a daily routine. On bad weather days, walk inside or on a treadmill. As with any form of exercise, getting started can be the hardest part. Setting a date can be helpful, but don't put it off for too long. The sooner you get started, the sooner you will feel the benefits. I'm Casey Malone, and I'll see you on the trail. Healthy Living, brought to you by Denver Health one of Colorado's premier healthcare institutions.